and welcome to Positive Living with Autism. I'm Benjamin. Today's video is about the idea of um, pets and autism. Although you don't actually see me in this video because I'm filming it. Um, I have a pet hamster. His name is Truman Mac. He's right over there. You see him right there. He's digging holes and everything. I didn't really want a pet originally, but I was coming home alone and I needed a lot of help. And I felt kind of scared and alone, and I thought having a pet would be kind of a physical. It took me about probably a year and a half to choose the one I wanted. I went to a lot of pet stores and decided what I wanted was a hamster. And um, he, uh, you know, he's been an amazing animal. I talk to it every day. I feed him. He goes on his wheel a lot. He does stuff that's pretty cool. And, um... He just does some really cool stuff. You know, and... He's just really an awesome animal to have. And I always say that people get animals. People should get animals. I'm trying to feel autism because it really calms them down and relaxes them. And, you know, it's... It wasn't easy for me to get them. And it wasn't easy for me to, like, um really, really want what he was, but once I got him, he was pretty cool. And it's kind of emotional to think about it, but he really shows me what I'm like sometimes, when I'm all crazy and manic about life, and he really shows me the inside of my brain and how it works, how it functions. And he teaches me a lot of stuff about how to be quiet, peaceful, do one thing at a time, like eating, like, I don't know, he's eating. But, you know, it goes into the wheel a lot, and it's kind of nice to come home to something. I'm not alone when I'm not scared by myself. I live by myself, so sometimes coming home alone is not very fun, but he teaches me about how to be quiet, how to be alone, how to, like, have my life. I gotta take care of something I gotta take care of. I have plants, too. Um, but I really think having a pet is really emotional. I've read a lot about animals and people with autism, and I can't have a dog where I live, so I gotta have to. I can pet him. I can do things for him, and it's really cool. So, you know, it's just really cool having a pet. And one of the things I like about Truman is that he came in my life and I'm making a lot of changes, and, you know, having a pet takes a lot of work. Like, I'm going out of town next week, and I can't, he can't come with me, but he's going to be staying in somebody else's house. But letting people take care of him, knowing that he's got to have something to do all day long. And, you know, it's just kind of cool. And, you know, it's kind of neat to see him do the things that he's doing and, you know, live his life the way he's living his life and just to be there for him, you know, and he's a great animal to do things with and he's kind of fun and he's great as a pet and, you know, I, I enjoy, I enjoy hanging out with him. I enjoy the fun we have. I enjoy the fact that he's there when I need him. He's like a good friend. You know, I feed him like normal pet food like everybody else. Like the kale in special diet. I give him special treats. I, you know, clean his cage every week and I have to do it sometime later today actually. And, um, you know, he's happy. He got sick a little while ago and I took care of that. Just, you know, he was a little pink eye. But it's like kind of weird. Like, I think about it a lot. What's he doing? How, how is he surviving the heat? There's a lot of heat here this week. And what's he doing to take over? What's he doing to, you know, live his life? You know, it's a cool thing. And so, he's a cool animal to have. Hamsters are really cool and really neat. I suggest everybody get one. <laughs> if you want an animal, you get a dog too. They're fun. But hamsters are just really neat. Get to watch them all day, do stuff and eat. And, well, Boa, and he's a white Russian, and um, he's supposed to be gray at one point, but um, he's not. He's the North a little bit, and he's just happy and content to see me. And when I come home, I you know scare him once in a while, but you know he's just cool, and he's just fun to be with and to see and watch him do his thing, and 
everything else. And it's just amazing I have a pet like him. And I'm grateful that he's in my life. And uh, it's kind of weird talking about him, but you know, he's in my life today and he's really cool and I love being with him and